Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Slackers. Today we are talking about pillar number four, which is entrepreneurship. And something incredible about this is we're doing a competitive analysis of a vape shop. I met this vape shop owner in Chandler, Arizona, and this guy stuck out to me. There was something about this guy that really, really resonated with me. It was his energy. You know, maybe it's because he's a new entrepreneur. He's just super excited. Um, and I wanted to help him out. So this show, we're going to do a competitive analysis of what he could do better, what he's doing great, and how vape shop owners across the United States can compete. And I'm so excited about this episode because I'm not going to claim that I vape or not. Because YouTube apparently does not like that type of content. But my experience going into this shop was so incredible. The guy greeted me, shook my hand. The energy was there, but you got to remember, guys, when you start your business, you're going to have a lot of energy. You're going to be over ambitious. You're going to be excited and you're going to be greeting everyone with hugs, right? That's how it should be. You should be very excited about your startup until you get natural. You hire some employees and it gets boring as shit. I mean, that's how it works. So I want to go ahead and share my screen, of course, for modern slackers. If you don't know us, here is how you can find us. Let's go ahead and share my screen. So Modern Slackers, uh, we teach you the five modern pillars of success, and I'm so excited about this project. This might be one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. Uh, you know, I, I created it after I sold my startups, and and it's just, I, I have so much experience. We have so many guest hosts for all pillars of success. Uh, our statement is 99% of entrepreneurs never get started, but our Slackers, we know how, you know? It's a, it's a redundant thing to say. Uh, I, I believe in reverse marketing. That's why we're called the modern slackers. Uh, we find ways to hack our way into the market and find ways to sell fast. Our head slackers, you got myself, three successful business exits. That's incredible. Dylan is our crypto expert. You know, shout out to Dylan. He just spoke at a very, very large crypto event. So I was excited about that. Excited hearing for, uh, hearing from him about that. I'll reach out to him. He has a bunch of Bunch of episodes coming up with us. We have our dating expert. This guy is a master of online dating. Uh, for all the men out there that just cannot figure out how to date online, I am one of them. <laughs> In one of the episodes, you see how terrible I am at communication through dating apps. And that is something I got to work on. But I just elect, I'm 30 years old, so I elect to just stay off online. Um, of course, we got Caleb Melantez. He's an MMA fighter. And we have a couple other guys that are slated that uh, it basically just depends on who sticks. We're going to swap people out. Uh, so the five modern pillars to success is investing. Uh, you got to have your finances in order. Uh, we believe that your life is a book. Kevin Hart quote, you know, when that book, you have chapters in your book. When that book closes, what does it say? What are people going to say about you? Uh, these five modern pillars to success will give you the happiest ending of your life. And I promise you that. So investing is important. You got to have your finances in order. You need that for dating, for, for yourself, providing for families. You, you just, it just needs to be in place. So I recommend to any of our 20-year-old listeners, start investing into Charles Schwab, Wealthfront, or any other investment where you just deposit monthly. Uh, shout out to Danielle Miner. I think she's 19 now uh, out of the Miner family. She started in an investment account. And her older brother, Cody, is like 28 and still not investing. So, Cody, if you're listening to my podcast, which you will not because you think it's misogynistic, which is not true, um, uh, you know, your sister is way ahead of the curve. And, and you know, when she's 25 and 30 and she's going to she's going to be ready for success. OK, let's get back on topic. Physical appearance, guys, is big for me. You know, it is like if you don't look in the mirror and see a champion, how the heck are you going to start a business? How the heck are you going to be successful in dating? How the heck are you going to be successful building a relationship with yourself? Networking, okay? When, you, when you're starting out as an entrepreneur, you're 22 years old, go wipe the CEO's ass of a guy doing something that you want to do. Be his intern. Bite the bullet. Work your ass off for this guy because he's going to teach you all the secrets. It won't look like it. It'll be you know covered in overalls, look like work, but it is work. You got to do it. You know, I'm at a point in my life where, where entrepreneurs come to me for advice. That's the end goal, right? Uh, today, we're talking about entrepreneurship 
finding your niche. This one's vape shops. So this uh, owner of this vape shop, incredible guy. I'm not going to drop names um, because I would like this to be used for all vape shops throughout the United States. Number five is dating and relationships. Guys, you got to be happy. Yeah, relationship is a big critical part of your life. If you're not happy, if you, let's say, I mean, you can have a Lamborghini and be depressed. I, I've heard of, you know, billionaires jumping out of their 50 story luxury apartment, killing themselves because they're unhappy. You got to have all these things in order, guys. Now, you don't need to see all this stuff. You can visit modern slackers if you would like to. So, so let's go dive into this, guys. I mean, I have some notes here. Um, this is his website, Chill Smoke and Vape. Uh, he just started, very ambitious, very ambitious entrepreneur. Um, there's some things I do not like about this website is, uh, it, I mean, it's really not set up to attract anything online. Uh, it's a one pager, which means you click on something and it goes to it. It's so simple. I would like to have more about like our mission is simple. I'm all about mission statements and expanding on them. Like, let me give you, give you an example of a company I own. You know, you, let's see why us, right? We, we have why us because dogs are our family. We save you 20 hours of breeder searching time. We save you money, pet insurance included. We are different. We take the hassle out. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to keep telling your customers why. Why is your vape shop the best vape shop out there? There's 50 of them. Why are you the best? Okay, we're going to get into how to get them to you. But you got to make sure your site is set up for this. Now, maybe vapors don't go online and look at the websites, but I do. So, and I vape and I go to vape shops and his is the best vape shop I've been to in Chandler, Arizona. So here's where we're going to go and find the problem. Okay. Vape shops in Chandler, Arizona. Okay. Does anyone here on the top three see chill, smoke, and vape? Right here. Nothing. Let's see how far down he is. Oh, I guess he, he moved up a little bit. <laughs> well, when I shot this video, uh, he didn't. So he has 19 reviews. Uh, Google really does go for reviews. And my advice to any vape shop owner is to create a loyalty program and, um, and ask people for reviews in store and be willing to pay for it. I worked at Verizon, okay? And I, I was... I had the slowest traffic store ever for the people that know me, John Bradley, uh, KJ, uh, shout out to all those guys that saw me when I was on my grind stage. I would have old people walk in the store and I would, I would do the review for them. All you have to do is say, hey, I'll give you 10% off if you leave me a five-star review in store. That's going to go a long way. It's going to boost you up. And the more of those you have, the higher you climb up. Because here's what happens. 80% of people are only going to go to these three shops. So you got to have your Google reviews in place. And if you have to pay 10% discount to get there, so be it. That's totally fine. Guys, you have to spend money to make money. If you're a brand new shop, you got to take these things seriously and make it happen. I'm going to drink some water. So I wish I could meet myself. Let me step away from the camera. Okay, so how do we get to the top three? And you guys can answer this by yourself. If you are watching or if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, come over to YouTube so you can watch the visual representation. Basically, he's not on the top three. He's not showing up. They have Yelp, best vape shops in Chandler. Um, obviously, that's the number one that's not a local search. Uh, get listed there and do the same review strategy for Yelp. Um, so basically, when they come into your into your website or into your store, you say, Hey, I'll give you 10% off right now. If you do a, a Yelp review, I'll give you another 10% off. If you do a Google review and watch them do it. Cause they're not going to go out in their car and do it. Why would they, they got shit to do. You got, you know, these people have stuff to do. And the last thing they care about is giving you a review, have them do it in the store. It's not bullying. There's a way there's a cadence. There's a there's a style and grace that you can do it to where you're getting the results. You're, you're asking them, hey, if I give you 10% off on this vape, would you mind doing a Yelp and Google review real quick? And do it before checkout. And if they don't know how to do it, learn how to do it yourself and show them. 
grab their phone and do it for them. I'm not kidding. You know, do the five star and say, here, write your message, make it authentic. Um, now, what we're seeing here is the, t the top searches. Uh, he doesn't come up anywhere on the first page. Okay, that's a problem. Second page, is he there? He's not anywhere. So this ties back into SEO and online marketing, guys. What I would do here is I would have a header. It's called an H1 tag. It's like uh, vape shop in Chandler, Arizona. That's the keyword you're going for. Trust me. You're not going for vape shop in the United States. You're not going for the vape shop in Kansas City, Missouri. You're going for the vape shop in Chandler, Arizona. And you can even take it a step further. The longer tail the keyword, the easier it is to rank for it. Best vape shop in Chandler, Arizona. That should be right here on About Us. So I recommend this guy splitting up the pages, like in my example on Preferable Pups. I'll give you a great example right here. So let's go to Puppy Finder. This is an H1 tag. This has 300,000 searches a month, and we rank number one. Let's go to a breed page. Labradoodle puppies for sale, H1. And guess what? We take it down to a state level. So if he was going to franchise, which I recommend he does, this is Labradoodle puppies for sale in Alabama. We rank on the first page for all these. This accumulates for millions of searches a month. So that was my experience with Google reviews. I'd say fix the website completely. And if you do listen to this, man, you can hire me. I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll create you a great website with great content. My team is fantastic, by the way, for anyone that's listening and needs to step it up on marketing. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've just been in this game long enough to know what problems occur and how to fix them. So uh, our mission is simple to provide a laid back experience. This is all Google seeing. So this makes no sense. This is, does it even say vape? It doesn't even say vape. It doesn't say anything about vape. If I grab this, it's a logo. There's nothing about vape. Like Google does not know this is a vape shop. Besides maybe the, the text, the footer text here. There's footer text for his contact at chillvapesmokingvape.com. Guys, this is... A, you, you take an example. Let's go to best vape shop in Washington, Utah. Okay, I'm going to take Cloud9 Vapor as an example because they are dominating. They have 544 reviews. Now, their website, again, I'm not happy with it, but they're popping up number one. But they just have so many great reviews, and they did the same strategy that I'm trying to teach you guys. So if you're a vape shop owner, make sure you get on that freaking review strategy. Yelp. Google, anywhere that'll take reviews, build those up. Build those up. Spend time on it. And plus, you're going to create loyalty. Here's another thing. Uh, we got to talk about loyalty, right? How do you get customers to come back to you? Very simple. You know what Cloud9 does? They have a punch card. After your 10th purchase, you get 10% off or $10 off or a free vape or something. Guys, that's a very small price to pay to have someone buy 10 pieces of items from you. Vapes cost dirt cheap. You're selling them for 20, 30, 40 bucks a pop. Okay, so have a loyalty punch card right away. Right away. That's how you get people coming back. There's a philosophy that says for restaurant owners, if you get them coming back three times, they're yours for life. And that's a, prov that's a proven stat, proven statistic. So, guys, make sure that you are. 100% creating loyalty programs for your customers. Now, I'm not saying you have to go all out and have like an email strategy. You could. You could have a Black Friday sale and you want to email everyone, but it's a vape shop. It's a very simple marketing. I mean, there's so many things I could do to this website to make it just pop up online and, and get people in the door, create the punch cards. And I think I've texted him enough to where he's going to take this advice and run with it. I hope so. So we've talked about the punch card. Now, what's the next step for someone that has a brick and mortar store? If you don't know what a brick and mortar store is, because we are living in a modern era, it's a store where people can walk in and buy things. It's a Walmart. It's a Walgreens. It's a, it's a TJ Maxx. That's a brick and mortar store. It's not online. So people can't buy vapes online. So uh, what you can do with brick and mortar stores, gyms, all that stuff is you can franchise them. But you cannot franchise something until you perfected the craft. Okay, so 
I would totally recommend for this guy to perfect the craft, get number one, and then franchise the hell out of it. I might even do a name change too. I don't, I'd have a professional marketer look at this website and just say, let's do a top to bottom retake, you know, and, and, and then franchise it out. Franchising is great because once you know how to do it, it seems pretty easy. Loyalty card, right? Discounts, Black Friday specials. I mean, once they come three times, they're yours for life. And then teach that to the franchisee and you get paid every time they make a sale. So uh, that that's all the advice I can give this guy. So it just stresses me out when I see an entrepreneur that uh, it, it, they just don't know online stuff, right? And we're modern slackers. We know the online tricks to be successful. So this is a very short video. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it because uh, we don't have any guest hosts and maybe I'll have him hop on the guest host as a guest host and discuss it. But I kind of gave out some secrets to him that his competition should use. And uh, he's a great guy. I'm not going to, again, say his name. I mean, you can reach out to him. And uh, if you're in Chandler, Arizona, I totally recommend you go to Chill Smoke and Vape Shop. Uh, it was the best experience I've ever freaking had at a vape shop. So that's about it, guys. So for, you know, uh, finding your niche, entrepreneurship, brick and mortar store, vape shop, Marketing 2022 is what we'll title this. Uh, go get after it. Make it happen. Create a loyalty program. Get those Google reviews. Pay to get those Google reviews, not illegally. Give 10% off. People will say yes. Have them do it in the store and then apply the discount. And that's all you have, it, guys. That's it, man. I'm so excited for this next episode we have coming up for you guys. So Thank you guys for joining everyone on Apple podcast. Please go give a like and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is like shadow banning the heck out of us. Apple is blowing us up. So I do appreciate you guys all for joining. Um, and uh, I look forward to talking to you next week. All right, slackers, go make it happen. Don't let anything get in the way. And, uh, you know, have a good holiday. Martin Luther King day, by the way, uh, go cards. Uh, I'm cheating on my team because uh, my team lost. Look, I'm not a bandwagon fan. Okay, this is a Drake quote, a joke. <laughs> I'm not a bad I'm not a bandwagon fan. I just have two teams. I have the Seattle Seahawks and whoever else is winning. So I'm not a bandwagon fan. I just have two teams. That's it. And on that note, you slackers have a great day. And reach out to me if you need any advice. You can find us on Modern Slackers on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, email, website, all that, live consultations, whatever you need. We got you. All right, go make it happen, go make it rain, and don't let anything get in your way. Take care.